The Muhammad Ali Sports Humanitarian Award is presented by Dove Men Plus Care. In Kansas City, Laurent Duvernay Tardif trained hard to become a Super Bowl champion. Back home in Canada, he trained to become a doctor. In the span of a few months, this NFL player went from the offensive line to life and death on the front lines. He had earned a degree in medicine, but had yet to get his license to practice. Still, Laurent knew he had a role to play. It was a crisis and they needed help and hands to face it. I just raised my hand. Duvernay Tardif became the first NFL player to opt out of the 2020 season so he could stay in Canada, becoming an orderly at a long-term care facility to help those most in need. He also used his medical training as part of the NFL Players Association Task Force on COVID protocols. It's not a time to think about playing football it's a time to think about how, as a society, we're going to be able to use each other's strength to make sure that we give ourselves a chance to have a chance. The Muhammad Ali Sports Humanitarian Award is presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Being a trailblazer in professional sports is never easy. A fact new Minnesota Lynx guard, Laisha Clarendon, knows all too well. In the midst of unprecedented attacks in state legislature on transgender athletes' rights, Laisha went public as the first openly transgender and non-binary athlete to compete in the WNBA. Clarendon's bravery has helped drive acceptance and inclusion of LGBTQ athletes at every level. I've gone through so much in the pursuit of being myself. My struggle was so interconnected to other people's struggle. My story opened the door to help other people. But Laisha's dedication and determination doesn't stop there. We are dedicating this season to Breonna Taylor. We are also dedicating this season to Say Her Name campaign. As the first vice president of the WNBA Players Association and a member of the League's Social Justice Council, Clarendon's voice on social justice issues has been loud and clear, helping build awareness of police brutality and systemic racism through the Say Her Name campaign. The Muhammad Ali Sports Humanitarian Award is presented by Dove Men Plus Care. People ask me all the time, why is it that you do so much for others? And my question is, why shouldn't I? WWE superstar Titus O'Neil has been fighting all his life, first for himself and now for others. Born into extreme circumstances, Titus found a way out when others in his community invested in this self-proclaimed bad kid. Now the Tampa native dedicates his life to giving back. Through his Bullard Family Foundation in partnership with Hillsborough County Public Schools, he is helping create generational change to help lift families out of poverty. And for those hardest hit by the pandemic, O'Neill helped feed the homebound, provided financial relief for rent and utilities, and funded programs to enhance teacher training in these desperate times. Being my truest self, has, has gotten me to the point that I'm at now to really make positive change. The Muhammad Ali Sports Humanitarian Award is presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Cancer is a battle you can't face alone. Chicago Cubs All-Star first baseman Anthony Rizzo knows this firsthand. Only four years after his own diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma at the age of 18, he started the Anthony Rizzo Family Foundation, or ARFF, to provide crucial dollars and support for pediatric cancer patients and their families. They need something to give them hope and motivation and inspiration. And for us to be able to help pay for rent, medical bills, schooling is the biggest thing for me. Since its inception, ARFF has donated more than $13 million to this vital mission. And when COVID hit, this World Series champion stepped up again, 
sending tons of crucial PPE supplies to families dealing with pediatric cancer, as well as distributing over 10,000 meals to frontline workers. I always try to push myself to do more, and that's what I want to keep doing.